Hello everyone, this is Ria Banerjee and we are continuing with the poem What the Mind is Without Fear and today's topic is the second part of the poem that is the last part for the poem's analysis. So we already know that Where the Mind is Without Fear is a poem written by Rabindranath Tagore before India's independence. The original poem was written in Bengali language and was published in 1910. And it was included in the 1910 collection of poems named Gitanjali, for which he received the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1913. In 1907, Tagore read the poem out as the Indian prayer. So what is it and why is it called the Indian prayer? I have already discussed to you that this poem is written before the Indian independence. So it carries a valuable information as well as it's regarded as an inspiration for the next generation. Okay, it's for the next generation. So as I have told you that I will discuss some question answers in this video. So first question, what does the poet mean by the head is held high? First of all, let's read the meaning. The head is held high means self-respect. So what do we understand by the self-respect? We should understand that before the independence era, the situation was completely different than the present situation. Okay, So here with self-respect, self-esteem and full of freedom, the poet asks us to live with our respect, our self-esteem and are full of freedom, the idea of freedom. He wants us to enjoy and rejoice the moments that we have now. Next line that we have is the where knowledge is free, which means that knowledge is not given only to the particular caste, creed, race, religion, gender. It's only supposed to be given to everyone, each and everyone present in the whole world, not only to some selected people. Look at here, look at the pictures. I can see different castes are together, different religions, creeds together. They are standing by holding each other's arms and shoulders. It means that the poet wants us to be united. What does the third line mean? Where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls. So what are narrow domestic walls? The narrow domestic walls, the hypocrite ideas which separate people from each other, which does not have enough energy, enough emotional compassion for anyone to be together and united with someone else. Next, where words come out from the depth of truth, where tireless striving uh, stretches its arms towards perfection. So, what does it mean? It means that the, um, where words come out from the depth of truth, it means that the word, the protest of or the voice of freedom should come out from the inside, should come out from the core of your heart, which should be related to the truth and virtue of our life, right? So, in that way, where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection. So, we are continuously trying trying our best to achieve the perfection level. We are continuously trying to achieve what we want. That's what the prayer is all about. The poet wants us to continue with our journey of whatever we want in life to achieve it. Next, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way. Now, what? why do the poet needs here a uh, clear stream of reason? What does he mean by clear stream of reason? First of all, during that era, and even nowadays, people are more uh, motivated or uh, agitated with superstitious ideas. Right, so he wants us to have a clear and rational idea rather than the superstition and the other consequences that follow with that. Okay, so here he wants us to be get away with the prejudices or the irrational, um, unimportant ideas and the consciousness that we generally have. In the, into the dreary desert sand of dead habit, where the mind is led forward by thee. Into the dreary desert sand of dead habit. What are the dead habits? The dead habits are of old cultural and dead cultural superstitions, re religion, ideas, prejudices, which are prohibitive and restrictive in achieving the freedom of the mind. So here he does not mean only the freedom of the country or the freedom of the world but he wants us to be uh, to be unafraid of such situations to get proper freedom of our mind as well into the ever widening thought and action into that heaven of freedom my father let my country awake so he wants his country to get up from the sleep
so students that's all for today uh, thank you very much for listening to me we'll be continuing in the next video